There are different men who have different functions. In India, they used to have a system, used to, it's still there. There was, you would say it's caste system, if I'm not mistaken, it's called the Varga system in their, in their language, which is the caste system, in which there was an, it's how nature, according to them, which makes perfect sense, is organizes itself through the human uh, community. So at the top, let's not go into too much detail, right? And quickly, that's, right, so at the top you have the priest class. It's not really a priest class, it's the so-called, it's the intellectuals, the ones who are connected to the invisible, okay? I don't want to get into the details of this. And, and at the bottom, right, you have the untrained workers, those who labor. And of course, guess what happened? Those at the top became supreme, and those at the bottom are like, you're so dirty, we can't even touch you. If we, if we, if we eat next to you, we go to hell. This is not the caste system. This is a corruption of a natural phenomenon. I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't understand. The purpose of the priest, whatever a priest is, because that's another conversation, is to transform invisible occult knowledge into something that is translatable in practical action so that you can serve people. And th so that's, his, that's the first level of power. He receives that, he's the translator. Then you need people who actually do shit. Ingenious people who are like, okay, so now we're going to create a science so that we can transform this invisible thing that you're talking about into electricity. But then we need material. So I need a guy who's going to go dig, right? How the fuck is anybody superior to anybody if the purpose is to serve? Each one is important. Yeah, but you have the priest at the top. Yeah, he at the top because his job is, he's in, he functions in the invisible. And the person at the bottom is the one that literally digs the earth, toils the earth to make shit grow so that it actually serves people. How the fuck is anybody better than anybody? It's a lie. There's no, there's no such thing. In a corrupt system, because people are mentally confused and they're not in the service, keyword service of life, therefore they're not in the service of one another, each one want to have power over the other. Yeah, but that, it's a corrupt system. And that's what makes everybody not want to be what they are. They want to be at the top because they don't want to be oppressed because our society oppresses everyone. <laughs> Understandably so. Yeah, but... It, not everybody is designed to be a so-called priest, a so-called intellectual, a so-called warrior, a so-called administrator, a so-called uh, uh, trained worker, a person who has a specific function, like an electrician. And that, right, you need, so what are you going to do? So instead of discovering who you are and then learning to master it, you spend your life trying to be something you're not, in which you will fail systematically. And very few people will stop and say, well, what's going on here? We got a problem. The system is rigged. No, the system is disease, it's corrupt. It's corrupt because it's not in service of life. It is not an agent of life, it is not a geometrical form that is aligned with nature's forms. Or nature's... Let's forget, I don't want to get lost in my own analogies, okay? So in this way, everybody's always, always scared. But in a healthy, sane Community that is in service of life, which is it's, it's an empowered community, has actual power, right? Not bogus social power. If you don't have all the elements there, nobody's being served. So then what's the point? I don't understand. 